hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so if you're returning of course thanks for coming back thanks for the support and if you're joining us for the first time where have you been there are lots of opportunities on this channel already and try to catch at least one of them fully funded graduate opportunities around the world so quickly subscribe before i show you what i have in store for you today thank you very much today we are at Luxembourg in search of PhD and master's opportunities at the University of Luxembourg in search of graduate opportunities. For the PhD opportunities, it's just very straightforward. You simply use the filter function to select um, your, your field of study, your area of interest, and check the application's requirement and see how you meet up with them. But for the master's opportunities, a little bit more tricky. So here you can already see that it's worth over 5,000 euros per semester. And they're usually two semesters in a year. Apart from that, you also get free accommodation worth, um, you can see it here, 650 euros and for two years. But then they said um, the tuition is not included in the scholarship. So how then do you get money for the tuition? I'll be discussing this very soon, how you get money to pay for your tuition at this university with these other freebies. So let's begin with the with the PhD. As I said, the PhD, you simply use the filter function. Uh, most PhD opportunities here are advertised like job opportunities. So meaning that you just check here, there are different kinds of jobs, different kinds of expertise, and you select PhD students. And you even have the opportunity here for postdoc applicants. You just say PhD students and see what comes out. We'll make this bolder as well. So PhD students, and these are the different PhD opportunities. You can see some of them in social sciences, some of them in computational sciences. And just simply click on them and check how you fulfill the application requirements. So most PhD opportunities here are advertised like job opportunities. So just check closely, check the applications requirements. Do you have these? You can also check um, the funding or how much you'll be paid and issues like that. So all those information contained here. I think the PhD is not a problem. You can see the gross income here. Over 38, close to 39,000 euros per year for this position so check for others of course check for computer science you know physics and psychology you can see different positions here so check for the one that interests you and go for it and of course we wish you good luck so these are already clearly explained but the masters as i said is a little bit tricky and let's go to that one immediately so this masters is called the Gilumen Dupas International Master's Scholarship. And it's for international students, as you can see here, usually for students outside um, Luxembourg, either EU or non-EU students with excellent academic qualifications are not a beneficiary of, of this particular scholarship or funding. So you're coming without any funding and these this scholarship might just be appropriate for you. So these are the departments eligible for this scholarship. We'll come to them shortly, but let me take you through the application's requirement first, and then we'll go to the departments. As I said in the beginning, the stipend is worth over 5,000 euros per semester, and there are two semesters in a year, so you're getting over 10,000 in a year. You also get free accommodation for the two-year program. And now they said tuition is not covered, but I'll be showing you how to get the tuition soon. Let me just show you the application procedure. So first you have to apply for one of the eligible masters. And then, having completed your application, you're invited to submit um, the scholarship application. So you cannot submit the application for the scholarship directly without first applying for admission and then being invited. So if you submit a very strong application, you're invited to apply for the scholarship eventually. And they need academic results, originality in statement 
of purpose. And um, look at the deadline here is in April. Then let's go to the meat of the discussion. How do you pay for the tuition since the said tuition is not covered? And I'll show you something quickly. This is one of the departments here. The Master of Science in Finance and Economics. Let's see how much the tuition is and show you how you can pay for it. So this is the page and this is the tuition, guys. The tuition is just 200 euros per semester. Remember, you'll be getting over 5,000 euros per semester. As you can see here, 5146 per semester. And the tuition is just 200. So remove 200 from that 5,000 100 and something you still have lots of money and remember your accommodation is already covered but i think it's almost like a fully funded scholarship if that makes sense because the amount of the fees is just very low however be very careful some departments actually charge higher tuition fees so we just checked for finance and economics but look at this cost for instance supply chain logistics and supply chain this is a highly sorted course at this university. It's also very expensive. It's also very expensive. So different um, departments might ask for different fees. You can see the fees here. 24,000 euros. That's a lot of money. <laughs> and your 5,000 stipend will only cover that, of course. And this is an issue. And it says the fees will cover cover teaching materials, accommodation, and um, I think trips to MIT and Cambridge and the rest of them. So it's a very expensive course because it involves a lot of involves lots of things and probably exchange programs as well. So um, this is off our budget, if I can say that. But the other course is here, of course. You can check and see. You can see quantitative economics and finance. You could check that one as well and see. This is also just 200 euros. So some of them are 200 euros, some of them are more. What about this accounting and audit? Check this one as well and see what it carries. And here it carries 1,600. So you can see the variations among departments. You should also do the same for the admissions requirements because one department might say, oh, bring the English require the English test. Another department might say, "Oh, bring a letter from your university attesting that you studied in the English language." So look at this um, what they call it, this departmental variations, and do your own research to make sure you're applying to the right department and meeting the particular department's requirements, and make sure you do not have a fee as high as this twenty-four thousand that we talked about. That this five thousand euros per semester is enough to cover the tuition. But there are lots of other courses here. You can check on your own. There is this one in law, Masters in Space, Communication and Media Law. Let's check this one quickly. It looks like a very interesting course. Let's see. You can see here is also the 200 per semester. So this is good. So this is good. So you now understand the variations I'm talking about. Some of them have higher fees. And this one cannot, the 5,000 cannot take care of the higher fees. Others have just 200 or 1,000. And with this, you can live comfortably and pay those fees as well. So it's important to say that. Um, secondly, um, application fees. Yes, unfortunately, not my fault at all, guys. But application fees apply. You can see here 50,000 euros application fees and these fees are actually waived for a phd so if you're applying for a phd you wouldn't need to pay the application fee but for a masters you have to pay these fees and if you're admitted this fee is deducted from your fees i think it's written here in fees you can see it here where is that tab once again yes application fees you can see it 50 euros and here they showed the different conditions under which the fees can be refunded or exempted. And I think it's just PhD and those who studied at the university previously, probably those who did an undergraduate in the university and now want to do like a master's or a PhD. Um, 
unfortunately, I think, for master students coming from another country, from another institution, you would have to pay the application fee. But you wouldn't have to pay the fee for doctoral studies, as you can see here. So that is it, guys. I hope this was useful. Scholarships at um, the University of Luxembourg. You can see we talked about that of PhD students. These ones, they have no problem at all because it's just straightforward. No application fee, just check the, the requirements for the course you're interested in. Then for the masters, a little bit tricky, but you might just be lucky that your department has a very low fee. And this 5,000 euros is enough, more than enough to cover the fees. And so you have still lots of pocket money. And then of course your accommodation is already covered. And I hope this was useful, guys. Just in case this doesn't catch your interest, there are lots of other scholarships here on this channel in different countries, whether in the UK, in Italy, in Germany, in Canada. So check out the different scholarships. One of them might just interest you. And as usual, guys, we cannot wait to celebrate you. Get to work. Many people have started winning scholarships already. If you Just go to our community tab and you see the numerous congratulatory messages and screenshots of different awards that we've won recently. So this might just be you in the few months to come. So make sure you engage with the materials already provided. And I will see you at the top sooner than later. So bye-bye for now and do not forget to subscribe.